Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quarter circle with the center O oh, fully inscribed in a square OABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, green shaded rectangle uh, is fully confined in between the square and the quarter circle as well. And moreover, the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle is 5 centimeter. And the side length uh, of this uh, square OABC is uh, 5 centimeter as well. And furthermore, uh, the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, right triangle uh, ODE is 5 centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle uh, over here. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know that the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle uh, is uh, 5 centimeter. So therefore, uh, this side uh, OA is the radius of this uh, very same quarter circle. So therefore, this is going to be 5 centimeter as well. And moreover, uh, this uh, OE is the radius uh, as well. So therefore, this is going to be 5 centimeter as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus once again on this uh, blue triangle uh, ODE. Let me label uh, this uh, OD length uh, as uh, lowercase uh, a and this uh, DE length uh, as uh, lowercase b. And since uh, this OD length is lowercase a and this whole uh, O A radius is 5 centimeter. So therefore uh, this uh, D A length uh, is going to be 5 uh, minus uh, A. And we know that this uh, length uh, is going to be equal to this side length uh, of this uh, green uh, rectangle. If this length uh, is 5 minus A, then this side length is going to be 5 uh, minus A as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, length is going to be equal to this uh, CO length. This is uh, 5 centimeter. So therefore this length has got to be 5 centimeter as well. And we also know that this uh, DE length is uh, lowercase b. So therefore uh, this width of this green rectangle is going to be 5 uh, minus uh, B. So thus the dimensions of this uh, green rectangle turns out to be 5 minus uh, A and 5 uh, minus B. And here's our next step. Let's focus once again on this uh, blue right triangle uh, ODE. Its area has been given to us as 5 centimeter square. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base times a height. And in our case, uh, this uh, is the base uh, of this uh, blue triangle. And this uh, is the height uh, of this uh, very same blue triangle as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of this triangle has been given to us as 5 centimeter square equals to a half times our base is A times our height is B. Let me multiply both sides by 2 to remove uh, this uh, fraction. So therefore this uh, 1 divided by 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore A times B turns out to be 2 times 5 is going to give us uh, 10. Let me label uh, this our equation uh, number 1. And let's focus once again on this uh, blue right triangle uh, ODE. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, this 5 is our hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So A square plus uh, B square equal to 5 uh, square. Let's simplify. So therefore, we got uh, A square plus b square equals to 25. Let me go ahead and label this one as our equation uh, number 2. 
And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus b square plus 2 times uh, a b. And now let's make an observation we can see a square plus b square value is uh, 25. So therefore I'm going to substitute uh, a square plus b square value as 25 over here. And likewise uh, right here a times b value from this equation 1 uh, is uh, 10. So therefore I'm going to replace this one by 10 over here. So therefore this equation is going to become uh, a plus b whole square equals to this part is uh, 25 plus uh, 2 times uh, this uh, part is uh, 10. Let me undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore here we can see this square and square root is gone. So therefore a plus b is going to be equal to and now let's focus on this square root of 45. I have copied it down and if we simplify it turns out to be 3 times square root of 5. So therefore a plus b turns out to be equal to 3 times square root of 5. Let me label this our equation number 3. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this green shaded rectangle. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length uh, times width. And in our case, our length is 5 minus a and the width is uh, 5 minus b. So therefore, this uh, green rectangle area is going to be 5 uh, minus uh, a times uh, 5 uh, minus uh, b. And now let's do a double uh, distribution. Sometimes we call it FOIL method. So therefore we are going to have a 25 minus 5 times a minus 5 times b plus a times b. And now we can see over here negative 5 is in common. So therefore this part could be written as negative 5 times a plus b. So therefore we can write this thing as 25 minus 5 times uh, a plus uh, b plus uh, a times b. And now let's make an observation. We can see a plus b from this equation 3 is uh, 3 times square root of 5. So I'm going to replace it uh, 3 times the uh, square root of uh, 5. And likewise a times b is uh, 10 from this uh, equation 1. So I'm going to substitute 10 over here. So therefore this is going to become 25 minus 5 times 3 times square root of 5 plus 10. Let's simplify furthermore this 25 plus 10 is going to give us 35 minus when we multiply this thing that is going to give us 15 times square root of 5. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle turns out to be 35 minus uh, 15 times square root of 5 centimeters square. And in terms uh, of uh, decimals, the area is going to be approximately equal to 1.46 uh, centimeters square. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.